My friends, we're gonna talk about smartphone gimbals today. So in your filmmaking career as a smartphone filmmaker, there comes a point where you start investing in a good smartphone gimbal. A gimbal that allows you to create steadier and more complex moving shots that otherwise would be difficult to achieve when going handheld with your phone. Now with so many smartphone gimbals on the market, it's difficult to find the one that suits your shooting style. Everybody shoots differently. And for me, I have tested out many smartphone gimbals on this channel that helped a lot of you guys decide on what gimbal to get. So in this video, I want to talk about the Zhiyun M3 and the DJI OM5 since they're both great gimbals, but are different in their own ways. Now there are six things I consider when it comes to purchasing a smartphone gimbal. First of all, there's weight and size, which goes under one category, uh, battery life, stabilization, extra features, compatibility, and price. So the DJI OM5 weighs at around 326 grams, including the magnetic clamp. Where's the magnetic clamp? The M3 body weighs at around 820 grams with the phone mount, which is also not on it. <sighs> Uh, I prefer a bit more weight on a gimbal, especially when shooting with a smartphone. I personally can operate more smoothly and get better results. I do like uh, how the OM5 is small and compact, which is great to carry around uh, in your bucket. Now let's talk about battery life. Both have built-in batteries. The OM5 can operate up to six hours, while the M3 can operate six to eight hours, depending on the settings and of course, if the light is being used or not. Yes, you heard me right. It also includes a uh, built-in light, but we're gonna talk about its features later. Now, of course, when using a lighter camera, such as a smartphone, the battery life uh, will obviously improve on the M3. Now, even if you don't plan on filming for hours at a time, the shorter battery life means you'll always need to make sure it's fully charged uh, before heading out. But considering the small size of both of these gimbals, you could also bring a power bank with you. No problem. Now, when it comes to stabilization, I do find that the M3 performs better. Now the OM5 can handle a heavy weight like the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I actually made a video about it, which you can check out if you're interested. But anyway, I still feel that the motors uh, start straining to stabilize the iPhone 13 Pro Max weight. And sometimes I must recenter the gimbal because it wouldn't respond well to my hand movement. Now to film on the go, the OM5 is great, but when doing professional mobile shoots, I will go for the M3. So let's look at some of the features I like best on both of these gimbals. So on the DJI OM5, I like the magnetic clamp and the built-in extension. Oh. The magnetic clamp allows me to have a fast setup time since the balancing process is quite simple and the extension pole allows me to vlog and shoot also more uh, creatively. So another great feature is the built-in LED light that helps keep the noise level low when, when shooting in dark environments. This also makes it convenient for vloggers. I find the M3 easier to learn just because you already have the shooting modes uh, on the screen and can navigate through it uh, pretty easily. Now on the DJI OM5, I will have to use the DJI MIMO app, which I rarely use since I prefer the native camera app or Filmic Pro, or I will have to memorize the buttons, which does take some time to learn. Now the M3 uses a similar quick release system, uh, which allows me to go handheld immediately. Not as quick as the DJI OM5 though, but certainly faster than having to remove the phone from the clamp. Now, when it comes to compatibility, I want a versatile gimbal that can be used with different type of cameras. I often see that certain gimbals are not compatible with specific phone models and it can be frustrating. That's why it's always a good idea to ensure that you inform yourself about the compatibility with the gear you use. Now, the M3 gimbal can carry a variety of cameras and it comes with an adjustable phone mount, as you can see, that could fit a phone as big as the iPhone 13 Pro Max. You're also able to mount different cameras cameras such as a GoPro or a mirrorless camera. For me, this is great since I also use the Sony a7S III for certain shoots. You also don't have to worry about weight issues since the M3 has a maximum payload of 2.2 kilos. 
This way you can use a smartphone with a case and mount a filter or use add-on lenses to shoot more creatively. Now with the DJI OM5, you have a maximum payload of 290 grams, which isn't that much, but works with the iPhone 13 Pro Max without adding additional mounts. Yes, you could add counterweights to the OM5, but the experience hasn't been that great for me and is too much of a hassle. I want to be able to rely on a gimbal when using other accessories. Now the price is a major factor when deciding what gimbal to buy you want to purchase a quality gimbal that fits your needs now the m3 is priced at 369 dollars whereas the om5 is priced at 159 dollars it's a price difference of 210 dollars now in the end you will need to ask yourself what you need for your mobile video production if you don't plan on using other cameras or don't necessarily need to attach lenses to your smartphone when using the gimbal then the dji om5 might be more than enough you can always upgrade in the future if you want to if you have a bigger budget and need a more powerful and versatile gimbal the m3 might be the better investment for you for me the m3 is a valuable tool for many years to come just because of its compatibility and strong motors so when it comes to buying a gimbal, just keep the factors in mind and do the research for yourself. It's important to understand that both the M3 and the OM5 have their own place. But hey, hopefully with this video, I was able to help you make an easier decision on which gimbal to get. Let me know what you think is the right gimbal for you. Make sure to leave a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to not miss out on my upcoming smartphone filmmaking tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it mobile and I will see you guys the next time. Oh wait, I forgot something. I'm not gonna leave my camera there.